woman once held captive by ISIS, and she tells a harrowing story. She says militants sold her as a slave, and she says she was raped and tortured. After escaping, she found refuge right here in Nebraska. Well, now she's pleading for the U.S. to help others still held captive. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports. I was sold five different times to five different ISIS uh, militants. Shireen Jarda recounts how 27 members of her family were rounded up by ISIS in northern Iraq in August of 2014. For nine months, she was a slave, raped and tortured. In Syria, I was electrocuted. In Mosul, um, they did an operation on my abdomen. I'm not sure what kind of an operation they did. The 26-year-old Yazidi woman was released. And after months in refugee camps, she was granted a visa to the U.S. six months ago and is now living in Lincoln. I have managed to, to escape, um, but I will never forget the things that happened to me and my community, and I will never stop working to bring justice. She says thousands of Yazidi are homeless, many still being killed, and those waiting to gain entry in the U.S. are being denied. I'm pleading to the American government to um, help rescue those that are still in captivity. Thursday, she and other Yazidi were at a ceremony at the State Historical Society. Representative Jeff Fortenberry presented a copy of a bill he sponsored in 2007 that granted special asylum for military interpreters, many who were Yazidi. For persons who had risked their own lives with standing next to our troops. Fortenberry says the next step is to stabilize the conditions in their homeland and offer humanitarian refuge in cases like Jardo's. And so to the degree that we can and to the degree that we must, we will absorb peoples who want to rebuild their lives and come here. Jardo says she considered killing herself when she was first captured, but the hope of seeing her family again keeps her wanting to live. I wanted to stay alive for them because I'm hoping that I will reunite with my entire family someday. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.